Well, I guess for starters, I mean, has it hit yet? How's I was going to call you, by the way, and tell you who was pitching this morning when I woke up. If I didn't have your phone number, I would have called to tell you. Because I wasn't putting you on last night. Sorry, I didn't want you to think I was. No, you're good. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, has it hit with you? I mean, how does it feel to be Big yeah. 12 champs? Yeah, it's awesome. Um, <clears throat> you know, I didn't uh, do much peeking or looking at all, for that matter, um, at the standings. And, and that's on purpose because obviously so many things have to play out before you know what the final results are. So, and if we played well in this series, we'd help our cause. And we did that in game one. Last night they got us. And then today we had a chance. I knew if we came out here today and, and won a ball game and some other things fell our way, maybe we could have a share of that Big 12 championship. And after the last how it was recorded, I found out that was true. So it's special. I mean, I don't I mean, Big 12 Conference is a great conference. It's highly competitive in everything that you do, from every sport that I observe in the off season for me to the one that I'm responsible for. So uh, I think it's the second time in school history we've won the regular season. So that's pretty special. And uh, there's been a lot of good baseball teams over that time period that uh, have competed hard and not won the, the, the regular season. So I'm very proud of our team. Appreciate their effort. Thought today's game was a great example of, you know, when we're at our best what it looks like and Ben did a heck of a job handling a probably an emotional start for him with his his history here and uh, our team backed him up well so it's a great all-around team effort was there any worry with with Ben going in you mentioned the emotions that he could be facing well not, not worry I mean Ben's a grown man you can talk to Ben like a grown-up that's what I enjoy, have enjoyed so much about him here um, he's mature he's honest he's uh, very uh, accurate in his self-reflection and uh, you can talk to him about grown up things and not worry about how he might take that. So Coach Walton talked to him a lot before the game about just go out there and give us one time through the order really solid. We'll see where we're at. We might piece this game together because we kind of wanted to have multiple guys hit the mound and kind of have our pitching lined up for the week, you know, next week, but at the same time win the game. And first time through the order, he did a nice job. And then he worked his way through the order a second time very clean. And then we felt good about where we were at and went to the bullpen. And those guys did a great job. So it was a very well um, thought out plan. And, Mature, uh, mature performance on his part. You mentioned the second time you guys have won. I think since then you guys have come second three times. Okay. Is it any more sweeter given you've been um, so close over recent years? Yeah, I mean, I've been a competitive sports for a long time and winning the championship's hard. So when you're in position to maybe get one and you do, it's a very joyous feeling. I mean, yeah, I'm not afraid to smile and tell you it feels really good. And I don't usually feel much um, in terms of the responsibility to deliver in a big way. So when the team can go out and deliver in a big way, you're proud of them, feel good about it. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy. And I'm gonna be happy for about six hours and then get serious again tomorrow morning about what's ahead. That's what I was gonna ask. What do you, what do you tell your team ahead of the Big 12 tournament? Well, we're gonna go stop at uh, On Cue on the way home and get some ice cream. And then we're gonna probably listen to them sing and have some fun, share some moments. And then we'll sleep and rest tomorrow and then we'll get ready for the Big 12 tournament, which from what I've been told, we play OU again the first round. So. There you go. So just right back into great competition against a good baseball team that I think we've played them four times now. And chance to play them a fifth. So here we go. What was Ben doing so well on the mound today? What was working for him? Uh, well, good strikes. You know, a lot of strikes. And then um, he he had him hit the ball into the wind a few times to left, which was smart. Uh, we did that last night repeatedly for those that were here. Um, he didn't give him any freebies. They had to earn it. And uh, yeah, he was efficient. What more can you say about Nolan Schubert? Um, I, I, I don't pass out compliments often, but he does a lot of things that I haven't seen very many young players do. He's a very remarkable young player. And probably what you can't see from the stands is just he's equally as impressive as a person and as a student. He's just a very well-rounded person. He's, he's pretty special. How big was that play uh, by Marcus getting the uh, runner at third in the second inning? Yeah, I mean, it was a heads-up play for sure. And... Uh, our defense was pretty good. I thought we played good defense here. And this is a big park, so it's not its not the simplest park to play defense in because it's very wide. If you look in the outfield, that's a big old wide 410 across, and it creates some different rhythms and angles to certain things that happen. And I thought we played great, great defense here. Marcus in particular, especially game one, his defense was a big part of that win.